Hello there. Happy Mother's Day. I'm Alicia Malone. Let's continue our lineup of movies about mothers now with a disturbing drama from 1965, directed by Otto Preminger. Starring Carol Lindley as a mother searching for her missing daughter, it's Bunny Lake is Missing. The script comes from a book by Mariam Modell, written under the pen name of Evelyn Piper and brought to the screen by the husband-wife screenwriting duo John and Penelope Mortimer. Carol Lindley plays Anne, a young American mother who is single and has just moved to London. She drops her daughter Bunny off to a new school, but when she returns to pick her up, she can't find her, and nobody remembers seeing the girl she describes. As an investigation begins, suspicion starts to turn towards Anne that perhaps there is no Bunny at all. Her only ally in all of this is her brother Stephen, played by Keir DeLay, and the cast also includes Laurence Olivier as a detective and Noel Coward, whose character carries a chihuahua. He didn't much enjoy this role, or the dog, saying it only had one piece of action and couldn't do it. I said to it, Coward said, you'll never make another lassie. Joining Otto Preminger behind the camera was cinematographer Dennis Coop, who had previously shot a few notable Brit British kitchen sink dramas, such as This Sporting Life and Billy Liar. And he brought that same grim realism to this film, which was shot in black and white. So don't expect any glamour shots of London. Otto Preminger didn't want to focus on the location of the story, saying that London only served to make the two lead characters feel out of place and without friends as Americans in England. With a great title sequence by the brilliant Saul Bass, from 1965, this is Bunny Lake is Missing. Very creepy. <laughs> Director Otto Preminger described Bunny Lake is Missing as being a small story about a kidnapping, but the way Bunny Lake's father treats Anne speaks to a larger social theme where Anne is punished for being an unwed mother. If you do not conform to the rules of society, Preminger explained, the law does not protect you. That is an important part of the film. Bunny Lake is Missing wasn't a hit in theatres, although Preminger later said he received many letters of praise once the film began to play on television. There is one good thing people forget about television, Preminger said, that it helps to keep pictures alive and people interested in them. Well, we here at TCM would have to agree with him on that. But as film fans know, Preminger could be a difficult director to work with, and that was true here. Laurence Olivier called Preminger a bully, and after making Bunny Lake is Missing, Olivier said he thought it was a miracle that Carmen Jones from 1954 had turned out so well, that a director this unpleasant could have made such an innovative film. Have a pleasant atmosphere on the set, Olivier said, and a director is in less need of a miracle. Okay, it's time for a quick break, but when we return, TCM has more mothers for your Mother's Day. And come to think of it, this is another film featuring Kia DeLay, this time in a much nicer role. It's a 1966 melodrama starring Lana Turner as a mother who is forced into making an unthinkable decision.